Hello everyone, John Davenport here with another Let's Edit video. This week uh, we're going to do something a little bit different. Instead of uh, editing a new photograph from start to finish, uh, what I thought I'd do is kind of introduce a new uh, plugin for you that I've been really kind of enjoying uh, quite a bit, and that's called uh, Topaz Simplify. Uh, what that program does is it transforms your photograph into art, uh, you know, like painting, sketch, drawing, uh, all, all sorts of things like that. Uh, so rather than take the time to edit a photograph and then go into Topaz and play around with that, I thought we'd spend a lot of time, time on Topaz and just save time by working on a photograph we've already looked at in the Let's Edit series, and that would be this one here. Um, in a previous video, we, we created this photograph here out of this one. Uh, we did a whole bunch of different things to it. So I'll uh, put a link in the comment section down below so that you can uh, click through and um, watch how we created this. And then you can come back here if you want and see what I do to it when we take it over to uh, Topaz Simplify. Um, a little bit about Simplify. First, it works. I'm obviously using it here in Lightroom 5, but it also works in Photoshop. It works in iPhoto and a bunch of other programs as well. Uh, you can find out all the information uh, over on their website, which I'll put a link to in the comments below as well. Now, um, let's launch Simplify and uh, get started here. So to launch the program, we're gonna right click and edit in uh, Fusion Express 2. And then this little dialog box here will open up and we want to edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. Um, obviously, we don't want to just edit the photograph without the adjustments because we spent all the time adjusting the photograph. And we don't want to edit the original photograph because that would uh, destroy the original image. So I'm going to select Simplify 4 and I'm going to click on Run. Now, uh, the program launches pretty quickly and you have a whole bunch of options uh, presented before you. So. Uh, Right now you can see it's selecting a painting here, a painting preset, and I do like the way that this looks. It's a very um, kind of soft and kind of painted, washed out look here, uh, but we'll kind of look around and see what else we can do uh, with Topaz Simplify so you guys can kind of get a general overview of the program. Um, there's a whole bunch of different collections that it comes with um, from these different uh, buzz sim collections um, which I don't really know you know it's just different kinds of techniques here different different looks that you can do here um, they're all kind of cool and I think each of them have their own uh, own uniqueness to them um, and then you have different ones here you can do dust removal and spot removal I'm not sure how good they are but um, they are here so uh, you know, it's something to test out uh, during the free trial. If you have a photograph with a lot of spots in it, you can see if it actually uh, works really well. Um, next one down is line and ink. And these are like your drawn images. So you can do something like a cartoon or black line only um, line and ink. There's a whole bunch of different ones here. Um, let's see, stylized cartoon with white ink. Uh, a ton of them. There's, there's so many presets here. Uh, you can obviously, I haven't added anything yet, but you can create your own collection. Uh, then the painting one, which is where it was uh, set up before when I opened it up here. You have oil painting, regular painting, underpainting, watercolor, all sorts of different fun things. Um, you have the Simplify 3 preset list, which is from obviously the previous version. And then we have Sketch, which does um, kind of different types of sketching and uh, pastel, uh, pencil, um, wood carving. So there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do. And each one really does create kind of a unique thing out of a photograph. It's, it's really kind of a cool concept. And I know there's some people out there that are going to say that, you know, you're destroying the idea of photography by doing this. or you're trying to fix a bad image by creating something unique, kind of like how you're using a filter on Instagram or whatever. Uh, but I think it's a lot of fun and it really uh, brings uh, out a little different type of creative side. Um, at least that's what I've found. I don't know if anyone else has used the program, 
but I would uh, gladly love to hear other people's thoughts on it in the comments below. So for this particular photograph, the way that I'm going to go with it, um, I've been playing around with this photo and trying to come up with a way for the video. And I think I'm going to come down to one of these painting options here. I think they are the ones that work the best for me. There's, there's you know, so many different options to go to choose from, but I think I like this painting two option here. So, you know, right off the bat, I think it does a pretty good job of just each preset is really good in and of itself. And you don't really need to come over to these different adjustments. But if you do want to, they are there. And there's quite a few of them. They give you a lot of control. Uh, you can control the base, which is basically just the base of the image. And then you can control all the edges, which obviously are the edges of the image. Or you can control everything together. Um, and then you have all these different sliders here from the amount and how the simplify is applied to um, different basic adjustments uh, from brightness, contrast, you know, the basic things, um, how your edges are affected here. So you can add more edge strength, which will harden the edges. Um, you can reduce your weak edges, which will take out some of the less strong edges. Um, again, same thing with the small edges here. Uh, you can flatten your edges, which uh, will, again, kind of blur them into each other and stuff. So uh, it is pretty powerful. And you even have the ability to go in and do local adjustments. You can do dodge, burn, uh, brush out, and smooth. And you can do all sorts of stuff uh, with that if you want to get really creative and, and take a lot of time and go through and really create kind of a very unique and artistic style to it. Um, and then you have some basic finishing, finishing touches here. Now, um, for the sake of the video, I'm not gonna do uh, something too extensive here. We'll just stick with the global adjustments and kind of just add a couple different things here just to see how they go. I'm gonna reduce the detail strength. I'm going to increase the simplify size a little bit here, which will kind of uh, you know flatten the image a little bit more and reduce some of those details maybe about 0.45 we'll bring in a couple more of those windows there um, feature boost obviously will boost the features of the image so going really really uh over the top there with that one i think i'm going to come back down to two i like it there um and you know this is pretty good I, i'm pretty happy with the way this this came out right off the bat so i'm just going to kind of leave it there for the video um there's obviously a lot of other stuff you can do, as I've just said, there's a ton of different presets and there's a whole bunch of different control here. So if you are at all interested, they do have a free trial over on Topaz, which you can obviously uh, try out and uh, play around with for yourself. And then if you like it, uh, you can buy a license from them, which would be a lot of fun uh, to go on and, and see how you guys enjoy this. So anyway, leave a comment below. Um, I'm gonna hit okay and just show you that uh, once you are done with your image, it actually imports the photo back into Lightroom for you. Uh, it does take a little bit of processing time to apply all these adjustments, but it's not not something too extensive. And then once you get there, uh, you are all set to share it uh, wherever you want or print it out and hang it on your wall. Um, so again, T tell me what you think about Topaz Simplify. If you've used it, uh, feel free to share a link to a photograph. Uh, I'd love to see a before and after so that I can see how it looked before the Simplify effect was taken and then after. Uh, I think that's kind of the, cool, the best way to kind of showcase uh, how this program works and, and what it does. Um, so this is actually taking a little bit longer probably because I'm recording. Uh, so I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, thank you again for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.